Top 5 Prison Escapees Pascal Payet was sentenced to 30 years for murder during an armed robbery. But he didn't like prison at all and decided to escape. And he did it in style. Forget digging tunnels or crawling under fences. In 2001, he escaped from Lewin's prison thanks to a stolen helicopter. Then two years later, he pulled a similar stunt himself to help his three cellmates escape. They were caught three weeks later. Payet was certainly not a trouble, free prisoner. He repeatedly complained about the conditions of his imprisonment and even went on hunger strike to protest that he had been transferred to another prison nine times in 30 months. He became one of the most guarded prisoners in France and was not allowed to stay in one prison for more than six months. Moreover, after his escape, his 30-year sentence was extended for several more years. Despite being labeled as someone who needed really close supervision, he managed to escape again. Four masked men hijacked a helicopter and its pilot in Canis and Payet escaped again by air, but he was arrested in Spain later that year. Serial killer, rapist, necrophiliac, and trained psychologist. That was Ted Bundy, who confessed to murdering at least 30 women he raped after the murders. But there's talk of as many as 100 possible victims. He managed to escape from prison twice before he was finally sentenced to death. While awaiting trial, Bundy was allowed to visit the Aspen Library, and that's what he used for his first escape. On one of his visits, he managed to jump out a window without serious injury, so he was able to blend right in with the ordinary citizens flowing through the streets. The prisoner escaped for several days before he was caught. He's been handcuffed ever since, even when he visits the library. Even so, he managed to escape again after seven months. He had cut a hole in the ceiling of his cell, through which he had entered a completely different part of the building, through which he had penetrated the jailer's apartment and had emerged directly from the main entrance. The guards did not discover that he had escaped until 15 hours later. He was enjoying his freedom thanks to the stolen credit cards, but his appetite for murder resurfaced. He managed to kill several more girls before the police caught him again. But this time, the authorities reacted quickly and soon put him in the electric chair. The Elusive One, or Houdini, was the nickname given to Alfred George Hines, a thief who pulled off a stunt that had never been pulled off before. He was imprisoned for a total of 12 years. During that time, he managed to escape from high-security prisons three times. His first challenge was Nottingham Prison, where he managed to get through a locked door and over a high wall. It was this stunt that earned him the nickname Houdini, as no one could figure out how he managed it. After 248 days on the run, he was arrested again. He used the trial that followed to prepare another escape. When he was escorted to the court and went to the toilet, he was accompanied by two guards. After they removed his handcuffs, he managed to lock the two men in a cubicle and padlock them. But he did not enjoy his freedom for long. He was caught at the airport five hours later. The third escape came less than a year later from Chelmsford Prison. All the while, Hines continued to insist to MC and the authorities that there had been wrongdoing and that he was innocent. He never stopped trying to clear his name. And he died on January 5, 1991. The Czech Republic also has a well-known representative in this field. Jiri Kajinek, who is nowadays considered almost a celebrity, was sentenced to life imprisonment for double murder in 1998. He managed to escape from prison several times. In the end, however, he was not helped by any of his escapes, but by Czech President Milo Zeman, who set him free. <laughs> the first escape was not dramatic. He was in jail for robbing cops at the time, when the warden suspended his sentence for three days on the recommendation of the prison board. Kajinek did not return to prison. Four months later, he committed the murders for which he was sentenced to life imprisonment. Kajinek escaped for a second time from the detention center in Seske Budajovis, and also tried to escape from the prison in Valdis, but was arrested again while still in the prison. But his greatest success was when he managed to escape from Myrov prison, something no one had ever managed before. And he did it by cutting the bars and using a rope made from sheets to repel, where even machine gun fire didn't stop him. Thanks to the president, Kajinek is now free and has become a relatively successful YouTuber. Alcatraz is a fortress located on a rocky island in the middle of San Francisco Bay in the California. The high security federal prison operated there from 1934 to 1963. 
The famous Al Capone served his time here, as did bank robber Floyd Hamilton, who was an accomplice of the popular criminal duo Bonnie and Clyde. The legendary prison was considered a fortress from which there was no escape. Even if someone managed to overcome the strict security measures, there were still rocks and especially water with strong currents surrounding the entire island. Nevertheless, there were 14 escape attempts. Some prisoners were caught, some were shot, others surrendered themselves. Officially, Alcatraz remains a prison from which no one has managed to escape. But there is one controversial case, which occurred in 1962, when three prisoners escaped from the fortress. They spotted a ventilation shaft, which they enlarged over a period of months with various tools, mainly cutlery. They used the enlarged hole to enter the unused shaft where they spent nights preparing their plan. To prevent the guards from knowing they were not in their cells, they made models of their sleeping heads out of soap, toilet paper, and plaster. They managed to escape from the building through the roof, using a boat and inflatable vests made from 50 raincoats to help them cross the water. No one has heard from bank robbers Frank Morris and brothers John and Clarence Anglin since. It's believed they died at sea but it's possible that they survive and are still alive today. Thank you for sticking to the end of the video. I would be very happy if you appreciated the video by like, subscribe, and if you didn't like something or you want to just give me feedback, feel free to tell me in the comments. Bye and have a good day.